this is Mike. I am in Whiteville, North Carolina, visiting Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, and I'm checking out a 2016 Dodge Charger in the SE trim level. And the SE trim level is the base model of the vehicle. So, uh, and I was really, really, really surprised at how much you can actually get in the base model Charger in the 16 year model. So let's check out the wheels. 17 inch alloy wheels with four wheel disc brakes and pretty cool looking wheels too. Not too uh, plain looking. It does have a sporty look with a silver painted surface. So here in the front we have halogen bifunction projector headlights with the LED accents around the outside. And the, the projector headlights serve as the high and the low beams for this vehicle. And just check out that front end. I love the lines there on the hood and the just the sporty look to the front. And you get a proximity key with the base model charger. You have the lock and unlock buttons, open up the trunk, panic button. You have a physical key on the inside in case you need to use that. So push button start all the whole nine yards. You can unlock the doors by putting your hand under here. You can relock them by pushing that button. Here's the inside of the passenger door, soft to the touch. You've got the French stitching fabric right in here that's all soft. Pretty much everything is soft, even up in here. You have the lock and unlock power windows, automatic on the passenger side as well, a little place to put some coins, storage pockets down there at the bottom, cloth seats with the stitching, and a different pattern there on the inside that kind of gives you a little bit of a sporty look. Plenty of leg room. Charger is known for that, having leg room in the front and the back. Glove compartment is pretty cool. It's a lockable glove compartment. You have a felt lined interior with a little shelf there on the top to kind of help organize your stuff. Here's the inside of the back door. Soft to the touch all around, just like the front. Power window, storage spaces there at the bottom. Plenty of headroom and leg room. You can see the floorboard goes in quite a ways. Now the there's a significant hump there in the center, so your center passenger is going to have to deal with that, but overall very good. You have the latch system for the child safety seats back here. You have an armrest and a cup holder that folds down in case you need that. You also have two USB charge ports back here so the backseat drivers can charge their phones. You can also fold down the seats by pulling this little strap and it folds down like that just in case you need some more cargo space. And you have a 60-40 split fashion so you can have a combination of cargo and passenger if you need that. So here's the back of the vehicle. You can see it has that nice glowing tail light that's iconic now when you see them on the road. Should look pretty awesome. Dual exhaust for the 3.6 liter to breathe. To open the trunk, of course there's a button on the inside to do it, but there's also a button here as long as you have the key with you. It's a proximity system. You just push the button, it lifts up all the way for you, which is pretty cool. Plenty of room here in the, in the trunk, massive amount of space. You have hooks there for grocery bags or a net pocket. There's some lights there on the sides, two lights, which is cool. You can fold the, seat, fold the seats down like I showed you before add to the cargo space just in case you need it. This lifts up and you have a spare tire. You also have your battery back here. The fuel door is on the driver's side which is super convenient. A little button right there on the door to pop it open and it leaves you with this. You open it up and you can see there's no cap. It's a capless design. You just put the nozzle in there, pump the gas and you're good to go. It has this little rubber thing to keep it sealed up and you don't have to worry about it. To start the vehicle, all you have to do is put your foot on the brake and push this button. But you do have to have the key inside the vehicle, which there it is. Let's take a look under the hood. The hood's very easy to open. Just right here to the little bit of the right of center, there's a little latch. You move it to the left and you lift up the hood just a little bit and it goes up the rest of the way by itself. So there's your engine. Well, 
so it's in there underneath that big plastic cover is a 3.6 liter v6 and it has 292 horsepower and it's mated to a eight speed automatic transmission really awesome eight speed transmission that's able to quickly find the light, the right gear ratio at all times and it actually can skip gears uh to to accomplish that it's really awesome transmission Trans and the engine is no joke either this is the same engine that they put in the ram trucks and uh, other vehicles really sweet engine fyi just in case you didn't know this is actually the oil filter right here so the inside of the driver's door is just like the passenger, except for it has a few more buttons. There's the fuel door button, which we saw a minute ago. You have your power windows, power door locks here. Front two are automatic, so you just push it one touch up and down. And check it out. The front glass has a sandwiched sound acoustic lamination here to help with the noise on the road. How's that for standard features? Then you have your side mirror controls right there power adjusted adjustable seat it's kind of a combination so like here in the front is a powered adjustment but then the tilt is manual there the passenger side was complete manual so right in here you have automatic headlights off parking light and then there's your headlights on and you have two dimmer switches one for one is for ambient lighting and the other one is for your interior gauge lighting and then there's the button I was talking about to open up the trunk. Here in the floorboard, we have plenty of room. We also have a parking brake there on the far left that you use your foot to actuate and a place to put your left foot as you're driving. Let's go ahead and take a look at the window sticker so you can get all the information if you need to. Using the pause button, of course, because I know you're not that fast of a reader. But look at that, 31 miles per gallon on the highway. 19 in the city with a combined of 23. Plenty of standard features. And you can see the only optional equipment it's showing is the customer preferred package 29G, but there's no price for that. So pretty much a base model as you can get in the SE trim level. So let's go ahead and start here on the steering wheel on the inside. Kind of give you an idea of what it looks like quickly. But the steering wheel is a leather wrap steering wheel. You have some bolstering here, very good thickness, easy and comfortable to hold as you're driving. And it's a tilt and telescoping steering column and a little lever down here to lock it in place. And you'll notice it has quite a few buttons here. Cruise control here on the right. You have volume on the back of the steering wheel where you can reach with your fingers. On the left side, is your Bluetooth controls, your phone, your voice recognition, hang up, answer calls, that kind of stuff. And then on the back side of the steering wheel on this side is change through your stations uh, on your radio. Then you have your presets uh, button there as well. Here's your windshield wiper controls there. And here's your gauges. Now there's a center screen right in here that's controlled with these buttons. But check out the gauges. You got the red dials, uh, really cool sporty looking font for the numbers and letters, uh, outside temperature. You have your driving range. Of course, these are customizable. You can change that information if you need to. Check out the digital speedometer. Now the digital speedometer, you can change that if you want to using these buttons. So I'm gonna kind of scroll through just to kind of show you. This is actually part of a menu system. See number one. Scrolling down, we'll go into the vehicle info which you can get your tire pressure. Uh, you can get your coolant temperature, transmission temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, oil life, battery voltage, and it scrolls back to your tire pressure. So that's your vehicle info screen. Fuel economy, uh, you can get some information there. I love the way they have the gauges um, so you can quick quickly look at it and see what it is. Of course, you have the digital readout there with the average. Trip info, you have a trip A and trip B. And it gives you your miles, miles per gallon, and your time. Audio, this is just showing you what your radio is doing. Stored messages will show up here in case there is any. And this is where you can go in there and, and customize the screen and change the things on the corners there. And it scrolls back down to the digital speedometer. Okay, so here's your radio. And it's a touchscreen radio. It's kind of a smaller screen than the other one. But there's lots of features here. 
So here on the radio, so we have AM, FM, you have your presets there at the top, so we can just push and hold it, and it sets your preset if you want to. And uh, you can go in and change your audio controls, your equalizer, and speed adjusted volume, that's pretty cool. Now there's other ways of playing music through the sound system besides your radio. You can also play music through a USB, auxiliary input, SD card, or Bluetooth audio, which is awesome. You can set up your phone. Uh, once you pair your phone, you'll have access to your phone book, recent calls, a dial pad there. You can set, you can receive uh, messages there as well. You can also transfer it back to your cell phone in case you want to have a private call. You also have this digital compass, which is pretty cool. Climate controls here on the screen as well as below. So let's go ahead and turn it on so we can see what it looks like. You can have them uh, sync together. It's a dual zone, um, so you can unsync them and adjust them separately like so and then your fan speed you can go that go up and down you can change it like that which is pretty neat recirculate the air or you can turn it off like so right here in this more button this is where you can get a nice big clock this is really handy if you're late for work or somewhere and you're trying to get somewhere and you really need to focus on the time you can have this just this big clock there which is pretty cool you can also go into all these different settings, um, change your clock and and uh, different things, all kinds of stuff. Your doors and locks, would, locks, that's pretty handy because you can actually make it to where when you push the unlock button, it only unlocks the driver's side door, or you can make it have all four doors. That's stuff like that that's customizable. And you can always turn the screen off if it's just distracting you. You just push it to turn it back on. Okay, so down here, there's your touch button to start the vehicle. Traction control, you can turn that off. This back button is for this screen. Certain screens, you can go back out of certain screens. Your four-way flashers are there. Your volume for your radio, tune through your stations. You have a mute button here. And so down here is your climate control, your dual zone, your temperature, driver and passenger, your fan speed, front and rear defrosters, and uh, over here is you recirculate the air and your air conditioning. So you don't actually have to go to the screen to make these adjustments. They're, they're right here and real handy to get to. You have a 12 volt power supply and you notice it has a little key on it. So it's showing you that it turns on and off with the ignition. You have a little storage pocket there. Now here's your shifter. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like a um, really comfortable old style in its function but modern feeling. Uh, shifter so let's go ahead and put it in reverse neutral and then there's drive and this is your normal drive position it'll cycle through all eight gear ratios on automatically by itself if you want to manually put it in different gears you can put it over here in this manual mode you can kind of ratchet shift up and down through the gears if you need to and basically you'll know which gear you're in because it'll show you right here At any time, you can always go back into drive, so it'll take over changing the gears for you. So right in here, it's got the Dodge Brothers cool little pocket right there. It's looking awesome. There's your cup holders, and there's like this little roll-top desk thing that opens and closes. And you have some ambient light around the cup holders, which look amazing. you got to check out my video of the 16 Charger at night. It's really cool. And I like the way they have this little, it's open here, so you can use this for other stuff besides cups. Plus, you have this kind of place here to kind of put stuff to, to like, say, uh, business cards or whatever. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, so here's your armrest, and it opens up like so. And it's all felt lined. You also have this little tray right here that comes out, and you can dump it or whatever. And right in here is you'll, you'll, you'll find uh, your auxiliary input, your USB, and our SD card inputs there for your radio some storage space plus a 12 volt power supply and this time you see it has a battery on it and that's it letting you know that it's on all the time so literally you can charge your cell phone while you're in the store doesn't have the vehicle does not have to be on for that to work now there's a little space in this compartment right in here i'm going to lift it up i'll show you right in here is where you can put your wires in and out of this compartment so like i said if you're charging your cell phone you can have the wires running through there without pinching them when you close the uh the lid there so up here is your rear view mirror, and it's a manual day and night mode, using the little flippy thing at the bottom. At the top you have some microphones for your uh, Bluetooth sound system. So when you're talking to somebody on the phone, there's your microphones. You have a place to put your shades right in here, and it's kind of like a, a padded 
inside see if the camera will focus it's kind of padded on on the inside like a foam padding I guess is what the only way to know how to describe it and up here is your tap light so you can have a quick interior light just in case you need it now your visors have mirrors and lights you also have a little thing that pops out there so you can kind of try to stop the the sun you can try to stop it but it uh and also it slides out like so same thing on this side okay so let's take a look at the visibility there in the back see all the way around not too bad a little bit of uh you know blind spots there where the the abc pillar is but not too bad overall you see those big back seats And also the dashboard is kind of like a soft rubber material, I guess, and it's non-reflective. So the, sh the sun's not shining on it right now, but if it was, it would not be reflecting in your face. You know, that's, that's, I think that's a really good idea to have a, a dull dashboard, especially one this size. And I like the way it has this brushed plastic right there. Okay, so... There you have it. It's kind of a quick look of the vehicle. Uh, this is more of a ba this is the base model vehicle. So I was super ex surprised at all the options that you get just in the base model charger. I mean, it's just just an epic vehicle. So of course it's comfortable, plenty of room. Uh, you got to take one for a test drive if you haven't. It's a super solid feeling vehicle when you're when you're on the road. It's just a um, nothing else like it really. So thank you for watching and thank you to Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram for allowing me to show off an awesome vehicle, and I'll see you guys next time.